I know these last six or seven months, every person that I know has been going through something. It is, has affected them in some way, financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically. It has affected somebody. It affected me a few different ways, but it taught me quite a few things and some more extreme than others. But when I lost my mother back in April, it forced me to take adversity and pain and make it my friend. And let me tell you, I had to become my best friend. I know everybody has, is going through some sort of pain and adversity right now, some more than others. And I also know there's two different types of people that I see that I come across who are handling it. And I was on both sides. One, they curl up and just throw their hands up and say, well, I'll just let whatever happens, happens. I come across some other people who have taken this opportunity to reinvent themselves, to change themselves, to make themselves into a savage that they're not gonna let this beat them. Now, I wanna know which one are you? I was forced to become the second one. I had no choice. You know, when people talk, they're uncomfortable and it's not, you know, they have to stay indoors or they can't go to their favorite restaurant. That's, that's uncomfortable for them. And that's what they're complaining about. And, all, when, and I hear that often. I can't go to my favorite restaurant. Oh, life sucks now. I just chuckle and just keep it moving. Like, oh, you don't know. Uncomfortable, painful. How about you can never, I can never talk to my mother again? And dealing with that and understanding that Christmas will be here soon. Nothing. Thanksgiving will be here. Nope. She's not here. You know, that's uncomfortable. Then I, I'll say life sucks. But I'm never here to compare and contrast. And it's, you know, that's not how I live my day where. But I will say when I make these videos, I will let it and be, make it very clear and let it be known if that's how you are, you're not on my good list. And I'm trying, I'm giving you guys the PG ver version. Because I want everybody to strive and be the best of themselves so much that when I hear something that's so low vibration, it just, I get angry. It pisses me off so much because I'm like, listen, you have, you're, all this is going to be over soon. What lessons are you learning from this? Because I come across some other people who are taking this time and they're turning themselves into, they've learned so many different skill sets, a new language. When this is over, they're going to be a monster. They took time to be locked up. I know people who are complaining that they have to stay with their families. I know people who are complaining that they have to be locked in with their families. What I wouldn't give right now to just have a phone call from her. And you're complaining that you have to be locked in with your wife and your grandma or your stepmom. Pain, adversity has to become your friend. You have to go through this. So many people have gone through their life where everything was great. They never had a hiccup. So once this happened, they didn't know what to do with themselves. So many people, they've never had a bad day in their life. So the minute this hit, they didn't know what to do. But you have to understand adversity is part of life. Adversity is necessary. Pain is necessary. The question is, how high is your pain tolerance going to be? The question is, what are you going to do with that adversity? And mind you, I'm still growing. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to become a better version of, of myself. But the thing is, I don't have a choice. I have to. I have to because this shutdown's going to be over. Things are going to get back to normal or whatever the new normal is going to be. My mother's never coming back. And she was my best friend. I know people who have lost loved ones to the virus. So when we talk about pain, when we talk about adversity... When we talk about being uncomfortable, I can tell you a lot about that. So I don't want to hear about, I can't go to my favorite restaurant. My gym is closed. 
go outside to the park and go do 100 squats, 200 push-ups, and go shut up. Go learn how to cook. Go make your favorite dish. Learn to embrace this adversity. Learn to embrace this pain and push through. Learn to be uncomfortable. Learn to start doing things you don't want to do and act like you want to do it. That's the teacher. That's the lesson from all of this. And I make these videos not to... I make these videos so you won't have to go through all of what I had to go through just to understand that. It took all of this crap that I had to go through for me to wake up and say, oh, it's not even about me. I've been, I've been selfish all of this time. It took all of this for me to realize I've been, I've been selfish this whole time. It's always about me, 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 me. I don't wanna do it. I wanna sleep and I'm too tired. And it took all, and I don't want you guys to go through that. I don't want you guys to have to go through all of this severe traumatic things that I have to go through for you guys to wake up. You guys can do it now. You guys can stop this video right now and say, I wanna be different. I wanna change, I wanna make a change. And, you, and I want you guys to do that. I'm begging you guys to do that. Don't stay stuck. I don't want you guys to be in that victim mind frame. I don't want you guys to have that low vibration mentality. I want you to elevate. Because I understand that's what, that's the whole mission. That's the objective. That's the purpose. That's my purpose. To elevate. It's not even about me anymore. Use pain. Use this adversity. It's good. And honestly, adversity is going to reveal the person. It's going to reveal who you are. It's going to reveal who you're with. It's going to reveal who you're around. So with this adversity, who are you now? And who do you want to become? And if you want to become somebody that's greater and better than that, this current version, start acting like it. You can change it right now. I'm forced to change it. Make adversity your teacher. Endure the pain, the pleasure will come later. Let's go.